Hey guys, welcome back, and I'm doing another Star Wars set, Lego Star Wars, and I have the Imperial Trooper Battle Pack, and I got this for the Death Troopers, which are very cool new figures that came out, uh, which you can only get in like a $200 set before, so, and I believe there are some, I think I've heard that they're different, I'm not sure, and I will show you how to upgrade them, but... I guess since the set is so small, we'll look at the walker thing. And this thing I had trouble posing for it to actually stand up. You can try posing it different ways, but it's really hard. Like, there's only, like, two ways that you can actually pose it that will stand up. Like, it'll stand up like that. I guess if you put it on a base plate, probably it'll stand up better. Um, but yeah, it's hard to get it to want to stand up. So, will he stand up like this? Sometimes it gets frustrating um, on how to get this dude to stand up. All right, sorry, and I I will get to the figures. I just want to get this thing to stand. Okay, well I can just stand like this. You do get a huge stack of extra studs for the stud shooters in the set, which you get a ton of. You get these cannons on the sides, which can swivel, which are cool. I like those. And they do have these stud shooter guns on the front. So that's why you get the extra studs. So you just shoot on that. And there goes one of those. Well, that's why they give you extras um, in your sets, which is always a nice thing. And then we do get plain stormtroopers here. So, it's just the Stormtrooper from the... Why am I doing this? I, I can use my s figure stand, but... Um... That's the walker, pretty much. I was just, like... There's a little windscreen there. I, I guess I didn't show you the entire thing. There's the back, where you can... It says... It shows, obviously, on the box there, that you would have the Stormtrooper driving it. But you can put your Death Trooper up there, whatever you want. You can clip your stud shooters in the back there, and then he just sits up there, like at the screen here, and walks his walker around to defeat his enemies. Um, sorry about that, but we do have the minifig here, the Stormtrooper, and he's really cool. I like his helmet. Um, it's the new version, which I got in the advent calendar, so if you want to see that, they're in there. I like how they give them light printing now. There's the back. And he has the angry clown face underneath, which I'm fine with. It's a step up from having just the plain black heads. And then we have the death troopers, which still have the stud shooters. So all the figures in the set have death, uh, sorry, death. They have, uh, death troopers now. <laughs> um, they have, uh, stud shooters. They have this really nice new helmet mold, I think. It's a new mold. And there's a little bit of green there you can see at the end. He does have the new head, and there's, like, a lot of nice printing all over him. And, um, yeah, they're nice. And you get two of them in the set, which is very nice. So, now I'll show you how to upgrade them. So, just take his head off, and if you have one of these things, I recommend it in black, because that fits the best. I got this from the really old Luke's Landspeeder set, which is, by the way, another one of my most nostalgic favorite Lego sets. Um, but then you just put that on. You put his head back on. He actually looks okay like that. But to make him look like the ones in the trailers, I have seen the movie, um, but I'm not going to spoil anything. This is, oh, sorry, I didn't mention, this is based off the Rogue One movie. Um, and then there he is. So just give him one of those long rifles if you have them, and give him one of those, like, cape, shoulder capes, and then he looks even better. And this is what I'll be using in my Scarif mock. So... Yep, and then I, I was going to get the Rebel Trooper Battle Pack, but I just made a whole bunch of my own Rebel Troopers. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Subscribes. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you would like to. If you enjoy my stuff, I have been doing lots of stop motions lately, and just have a great day. Um, take care, and bye.